All righty, guys, and gals. <laughs> Sorry I didn't have this recorded, but I caught my first crappie today. We're here at Norris Lake, and buddy, let me show you. Ain't that just a beautiful slap? Look at how broad, long, beautiful, beautiful crappie, beautiful, beautiful crappie. And I'll show you all what I'm using here real quick. Let me set this little bad boy back down in there. I told you all a few videos ago, I stick to what I know and what's working. And that's what's working right there. A three inch zoom, tiny fluke, Arkansas shad, a 1 16th ounce jig head. Now that, that jig head, the paint on this side is worn out, but the other side's not. And guess what? That don't matter tied with a polymer knot four pound test clear mr crappie line my granddad's my great granddad's little shakespeare reel and that's all i'm doing right there is just that that's all i'm doing i'm not even letting this sink hardly I caught that fish on the very first cast. I brought my camera with me, but I thought that there wasn't going to be much biting today because we got a big weather system uh, that moved in last night. And, well, there's a little bite right there. I've also been catching yellow bass. I'm keeping yellow bass and crappie today. But yeah, that's all I'm doing. Just giving a good heave ho, letting it, uh, letting it sink a little bit. And I say a little bit, I mean about maybe two to three seconds, that's it however long uh, uh three seconds is for a 1 16th ounce jig head that's how deep that is i'm just doing a slow reel just like so right there there might be one or two times where i'll uh i'll go and switch to a uh, little bobby garland they've been uh they they uh i caught some fish yesterday they were biting on blue ice bobby garland with this 1 16th ounce jig head i have not uh lost his jig head ever since i started using it yesterday i've kept using it and kept using it and guess what we're still going to use it as you can see we're not in the kayak we're on the banks right here and this wind i, I pardon the wind i'm sure that the audio is very uh it sounds very uh weird with the wind blowing in it i hope you all forgive me but i'm fit i'm casting into the wind and there's another crappie right there and a good one look at that that's all it takes folks that's all it takes another keeper look how he swallowed that one boy let me tell you there ain't nothing more exciting than catching slab daddies and i mean slab daddies thick oh i better get that we don't want to lose that pack thick that's two crappie in the bucket and a span of two, what three or four casts something like that man alive that's good that's it that's all it takes and i'll tell y'all real quickly what's happening yes this wind's blowing but the day before it wasn't really blowing all that much and what's happening is the shad has came from the deep part of Norris Lake here and has come up the water column, up this creek channel right here. Oh, that was a bottom. Anyway, they come up the creek channel and has went to the warmer water. We've had two, no, I'm sorry. We had three days where it's been in the low to mid 60s. Right now, it's uh, it's going up to 70 degrees before this big rain system moved through, and it's fired the crappie up. We had a little rain system that hit overnight. There was a bite right there that I missed. A little rain system that hit overnight about 3 to 4.30 in the morning, and it's muddied up the water a little bit. Well, what's happening is that the shad has went from where it's clearer into where the muddier water part is for protection to hide from the predator so it makes them harder to see well guess what i don't know if you can tell there's a there's a little line of where it transitions from mud to clear water over there and i'm trying to get as far over there as i can but it's impossible to do it off the bank 
regardless of the matter there's still some that will come out deep into where the the muddier part of this water is and we'll still get them shad and in, uh, in, in amongst them so i'm i'm excited folks i'm trying to i'm trying to keep my excitement down but uh this is uh this is too cool man i i love i love when you go on a bank and you can catch slabs just like what you just saw right there so uh hang tight with me we just started this video i hope you stuck through the whole thing because i am not editing this part of the video out we're just gonna uh but we are gonna cut the camera off here real briefly um do some more fish i might walk up and down this bank a little bit see if they're more scattered or not and uh just hold tight with me let let's get some more fishing done i'm excited there we go that might be a crappie oh yeah crappie and a good one Boy, that's a good crappie. Oh yeah. He was right up next to the bank, that one was. Boy, look at the slabs on that thing. Son. Three crappie. You gonna say bye? Can't say bye. You're, you're stuck with us, boy. Now that crappie, he was actually pretty close to the bank where I caught him at. He, he was about more or less just about right there kind, kind of that far from the bank so he was shallow again they're relating to where these shad are going into shallower waters for warmth the truth of the matter is this color right here the tail doesn't mimic what shad's in the norris lake they've got more of a solid body like this right here that goes all the way to the tail but i dyed the tail like this because not only does it give out a garlic scented smell but it's easier for the crappie to see when it comes to the muddier water here if i was fishing in this clear water that's more out towards there in the middle i wouldn't worry about dying the tail i'd leave it as solid as it could be but because of this muddier water i feel like and just in my opinion it's helping uh, uh to give them crappie an advantage to see my bait but again that's just my opinion on it but i tell you one thing whether you think it's opinion or not as well it's working and that's what matters it don't matter if you dye pink blue yellow orange green black white i don't care if it works for you that's all that matters i'm gonna do something real quick i don't there's nothing in the books that says that this will help it but it, it won't hurt to try it i've already done dye this tail with a spike of dipping glow but i'm gonna re-dip it in there that's all i'm doing re-dipping why am i re-dipping well i got a little bit more on that than i wanted I'm not re-dipping to make the tail glow brighter i'm re-dipping to bring that smell back to it i'm seeing if the crappie also relate to the smell of the fish that could have something to do with it that's why we're here to find out. There he is. You know what? There might be something to it. Golly, what a slab. Come on up here, pretty thing. If you're going to get off, get off in the bucket. He didn't hit that hard at all. I'll tell y'all that much right now. I, I barely lip took him. Oh, look how pretty that is. Sheesh. Guess what? That might have actually helped it. My first cast was right after I dipped that in the glow. And I caught that first crappie from the first cast. That's the first cast after I redipped it. And guess what? Crappie. Could have been coincidence. 
but right now it's very hard to tell me otherwise. There he is. Now that's a crappie. Yeah, that's for sure a crappie. And a good one. No, yellow bass. Boy, you fought just like a crappie there. Now he's pulling side. Hey, yellow bass. That's a good eating size yellow bass right there too. Boy, I'm glad to catch you. Boy, I thought you weren't there anymore. I thought you took off. Yeah, that's a good yellow bass. Well, fine, be camera shy, don't smile. There we go. Golly, is that a crappie? Or is that a yellow bass? He's taking a little drag with him. No, nah, that's yellow bass and little G -g 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 head shakes. That's a good one though. He's either a big one. Well, I'll be. Boy, did he fool me. Oh, what a crappie. So you're going to fight like a yellow bass, and a yellow bass is going to fight like a crappie. That don't make any sense to me. <laughs> Son, I love it. I love it. Thank you, Lord, for another day of crappie fishing. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Look how fat. Gosh, full of shad. Full of shad. That's a solid, that's 11 and a half, 12 inch right there. When you can catch crappie where you know you don't have to worry about measuring because you know they're going to make the grade, that's good fishing. I don't care what you say, that is good fishing. Man, what a crappie. He hit that a ton. He ain't fighting like a ton. But he hit it. Let me show you how how good he hit it. That bait's gone, folks. That is gone. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to get. Oh, never mind. I almost said I have to get my net or my pliers for that one that's another good 12 incher going back in stay in there y'all golly if that's a crappie that's a good one and that is holy cow What a crappie. Now that's a crappie. That is a crappie. Gosh, look how huge that sucker is. That's a 14, every bit of it. Shallow water. Full belly. Seventh crappie of the day. And it's also a keeper. That I think is a crappie. Yep, that is for sure a crappie. And a good one. Another good crappie. Wow. That's a 12, 12 and a half. Yeah, I say 12 and a half at the least. That's a good one. That's eight crappie right there. We're almost at our limit. Norris Lakes fish limit for crappie. It's 10 inches, 10 crappie a person.
Boy, look at him. <laughs> Let's go! It's crappie time, folks. Now, I believe that's a crappie. Maybe. Is it? Oh, yeah. Crappie. There we go. One more. One more crappie to catch, and then that's it. We limit it out. That's a good one. That's, that's, that's right at. That's probably a ten and a three quarter. Yeah, about ten and three quarter. He fought good too. He didn't actually fight like a crappie, he fought like a yellow bass. Oh folks, I think we finally got our tenth crappie. I hope so and pray so. Oh yeah. We have caught our limits, folks. And golly bum, what a good crappie to end the limit. Holy cow. 10 crappie. Full, I mean, full of shad. You talking about some fillets. Whoo. 10th crappie of the day. Ain't she a beaut. And that is what a bucket with your limit looks like. Plus the yellow bass that's in there. So we're gonna take these bad boys home, flay them up, have a good little fish fry later on. Alrighty folks, it looks like uh, that's gonna do it for the day. Um, you know, 10 out of 10 crappie. You can't beat the ratios on that. No better than that. Uh, that's a That's 100% catch to keep ratio for norris lake hallelujah praise jesus for those that don't know about norris lake it is the toughest lake that you could fish out of the entirety of east tennessee and i probably would even argue that it is the toughest lake to fish across the entire southeast i would even go that far for those that knows norris lake y'all know what i'm talking about it don't matter if it's crappie bass of any species walleye I mean, flip, even bluegill are really tough to catch out of Norris Lake. It's so deep, it's so clear, it's so clean. Fish can see you a full mile away. Get spooked so easily, and then you just ruin all of your fishing if you are not at 100% stealth mode. And that's the bottom line on that. But uh, anyway, for those that have stuck it out to the end of this video right here, or even if y'all have skipped through some of it, um, just to get to the end to see what it looks like, uh, I just want to take the time again to thank you all so very much uh, for tuning in and watching my content. Uh, I really do appreciate you all. Y'all are super awesome people. And again, the, the you know, my whole point of making videos is showing you all just how fun crappie fishing is. Um, it's definitely fun for me. It's a, it, it's a, it's as close to heaven to me as you're going to get. <laughs> so, for those that don't really fish, I just hope that some of these videos, like mine or anybody else's, it don't matter who you all watch, influences you to go out and take time to do some fishing, because it's not about fishing. You know, it's 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 just a way of getting away from the chaos just finding peace within yourself okay to me that's what it's about but when you throw that bait out there and there's a mouth that hooks onto that line that's got fins and and 10 pounds of muscle that's wanting to rip that hook out of its mouth i mean it, there's not a better adrenaline to give you a rush to even further make you forget about all of the world's craziness going on it's nothing short of a blessing. So, again, I appreciate you all so very much. 
uh, tune in next time for a new video. I don't know when I'll get another one out, but uh, again, with everything that's now past us with sickness and changing jobs or whatever, I can finally get some more content out to you all. Um, so, gang, <laughs> we'll have to uh, do it again next time. Uh, hopefully, y'all uh, get them lines wet and catch some crappie yourself. Uh, if this uh, video has helped you out in any way, like learn how to catch crappie in clear water and all that, uh, you know, leave a comment, you know, share some of y'all's details uh, amongst each other to me. It don't matter. Um, just, uh, you know, let's talk about how fun it is, man. You know, let, let's, let's share the love of fishing, all right? <laughs> Uh, that sounds dorky. Anyway, um, all right, guys. Crawdads out. See y'all next time. Oh, what a beautiful day to go and catch some crappie. Oh, God, I can't. I can't. I can't. Ugh. When a man's having this much fun, it's hard to control himself. I'm sorry, folks. I sound a little crazy. I promise you. I, I know I do. I, I, I'm a little. I'm a little. I'm a little off. No, I'm not a little off. I'm a little off. If you get what I mean, there's a difference between this off and this off. But I'm telling you, God's creation right here, and to be able to enjoy this type of outdoors is nothing short of a blessing just straight to the heart man just <sighs> you love it man you love it i mean it i know there's some that hasn't grown up fishing and all that i get that i understand y'all may think that i'm crazy for talking like this but When I get to take this right here with me, this old, worn out, cheap little Shakespeare reel, probably from the 90s, 80s, who knows? I don't know. It might be even older than that. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. When you take this out that your great granddad used to help catch all them crappie out of Fort Loudon Lake, and you go out there and you put that on a on a pole like this it's more than just catching crappie and it's definitely more than just being out here and enjoying the outdoors it's a heartstring to heaven it's a heartstring to my papa john and i know he's smiling looking down on me Sorry, folks, I didn't. There's a lot more to fishing than just catching a fish. To some, it's as close to heaven as you're going to get. If it feels this way every time I go fishing, then I hope that I, I can touch heaven every single time every single chance that i can every day every night every week every month every minute and second that goes by that any way that i can touch heaven and i feel a connection between me and my great grandfather it's so sweet it's beautiful